Hello everyone, my name is Yuhang He. I'm a PhD student from University of Oxford and Department of Computer Science. I'm happy to introduce our work, Sound 3D with that. 3D sound source detection using multiple view, microphone array, and RGB images. Part of the work was done during my internship at Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratories. For the problem definition, we propose to localize a 3D sound source, its XYZ coordinates, and to classify its semantic label. And we propose to use an acoustic camera to capture the scene from multiple views. But in our case, we assume the sound source may have no visual entities because it is either too small or exhibit no visual discrimination. And but the sound source has to lie on the basic surface of the objects and the sound source number is arbitrary. Comparing with existing method, we show that existing method just detects the sound source in 2D uh, dormant, which means they just localize or detect the sound source in the videos or images. But and the further assumes that the sound and the vision is heavily coupled, which means the sound source has a very obvious visual entities. For example, the GATA playing sound comes from the GATA, and the GATA can be directly detected from the vision side. But in our case, we detect the sound source in the 3D coordinate systems, and we assume that the sound vision is just weakly coupled, which means the sound source may not be visible, but it has to lie on the object physical surface. It reflects some real scenarios, for example, in the gas leak or machinery morph function. So I would like to uh, first summarize the contribution of our work. First, we explored the sound source detection from the sound and the vision weakly correlate the scenarios. It has been nearly ignored in prior work. Second, we propose to a novel data acquisition platform to connect the spatially aware audio-visual dataset. And uh, we use a new rig called acoustic camera. And lastly, we accordingly propose a novel framework to efficiently detect the 3D sound sources. So for the new data acquisition rig, we use acoustic camera. It, is, uh, it consists of two main parts. The first is a pinhole RGB camera in the center and, and four microphones that uh, are arranged in the four corners. So we use such rig to connect the theme, the RGB and the microphone array signals at the same time from multiple views with known cameras. So with such connection of multiple view dataset, we can exploit the multiple view RGB images provide on the surface constraint to reinforce the sound source localization. And the multiple view microphone data provides us with a much more data set to efficiently localize the sound source as well as to classify its semantic labels. So the sound 3D way pipeline, so the main idea is that we treat it as a set prediction problem. So and the each single view microphone array signals provides us with the initial sound source cues, and the initial sound sources are further optimized by hierarchically connecting the visual cues from multiple view RGB images. And finally, the sound source are associated with the ground truth via the Hungarian algorithm. In terms of the network architecture, it consists of four main parts. The query generator, which means it takes the microphone, microphone array signal as input and output the initial sound source. And another backbone network, the backbone network will continue to optimize the sound source representation. A detection head, which is responsible for decoding the sound source representation into its corresponding uh, XYZ position and the class label. So for the RGB, image features, we adopt an existing feature matching, feature matching method we call it in Lofter. So here is the sound suite with that pipeline. As you can see that the, for the given um, four channel microphone array signal, the query generator takes it as input to uh, out, and output the initial sound source and the initial sound source is further fit to a transformer-like detection backbone network. 
for further optimization. And finally, we use a detection head to decode the sound source uh, representation to its corresponding spatial position and a semantic label. And for the microphone array signal, we extract 10 channel 2D maps, the four channel SDFT maps plus the six channel interchannel GCC FAT feature and the RGB images is pre uh, is based on pre-trained Loftor features. So then we would like, I would like to introduce on the surface constraint. So the on the surface constraint, which means that if the sound source lies on an object surface, its projections onto different RGB images, the projection position, they have to be matching points. But otherwise, if the sound source lies above or below the object physical surface, its projections onto different images are less likely to be matching points as to uh, as we show in the figure four. And in the figure five, we show that why do we you choose to use the Loftor features? Because we find that the Loftor features can produce the matching points even on texture homogeneous errors, as you can see in the figure five. So in terms of in the experiment for the data set, we choose to simulate the data set with some spaces for two simulators. It is based on the Matterport 3D, uh, 3D environment. So we choose to six common thing objects, the wall, chair, table, door, ceiling and a cabinet and we have five sound sources telephone ring ring alarm fireplace hot beams and in this experiment the view number is four and we create two sub data set the texture homogeneous and the uh, texture discriminative and the table one summarizes the data set information of our created data set so for the experiment, the evaluation metrics, we adopted three evaluation metrics, the mean average precision, the mean average record, and the mean average localization error. And we compare our method with three main microphone array based um, method, the SELDNet, and EIN, and SoundDOA. Now, all of them are the recently published works. And for the quantitative result we show on the table, Two and the table three, as we know, we can say that all, all proposed methods of sound 3D with that generate much higher scores in terms of the three evaluation metrics. And we further propose some qualitative result visualization, as you can see that in this if in the this figure that our method can uh, predict the 3D sound source that is closest to the ground truth sound source, while the other uh, three comparing methods will give us uh, very accurate predictions. So in conclusion, uh, in the conclusion, we propose a new method we call the stream sound 3D with that to detect the visually um, non-observable 3D sound source from audio visual inputs. And we propose to use a new acoustic camera rig to do this task. And we propose a novel framework um, to treat it as a set prediction problem. And we showed that it outperforms a microphone array only based on method. And uh, we also present a new, uh, introduce a new data set for evaluation, for evaluating this, this method. So through our work, we hope to motivate more researchers to explore this research direction. Thanks. And the source code is accessible at this GitHub link. Thank you very much.